well, Zeiss is a big name anyway, and uh, Stanley discovered in the American Cinematographer, a magazine, that there is a lens with a 50 millimeter 07. And he said, I don't believe it. I never heard of this. There is no, I mean, and he asked around whether there was a camera to use it. No, zero result. Then he asked me, well, ask Zeiss. And I phoned, I finally spoke to a Dr. Camera. This was that time. And um, Dr. Camera said, oh no, well, it's terribly sorry, but this lens is not useful uh, because it has no, no way uh, you can put it on a movie camera. So, and, um, so it is not possible. I told Stanley this. And Stanley was not a man who takes no for an answer. And he finally reached Eddie Giulio, a very, very fine um, camera technician and bustler. Um, so I bought one. And I took it to Los Angeles. And Eddie Giulio admired it, said, wonderful, fantastic piece of glass, but there is no camera. I said, Stanley, it's absolutely impossible because the BNC has two shutters, a thick aperture plate, and all that between the film plane and the rear element of the lens. And so I explained that to Stanley and said, uh, we would have to damn near wreck your camera and make it purely dedicated to do this, and he said, fine, go ahead and do it. Manufactured, designed, developed, and manufactured by Zeiss uh, for NASA. And of course, NASA was planned to use it in satellite uh, photography. And for that reason, it's an extremely fast lens. It's an F0.7, which is two stops faster than the fastest lenses that are available even today. How do we really get more light? And he came up with his candles, and here they are. And these are candles made for us, especially 50 years ago, with three of those dots. And, uh, and uh, they burn very, very fast, very light, and uh, are a pain in the neck. <laughs> There's no other words for it, because they go burn so fast. And, and you have to watch on editing that they go and go up and down. You know? So that's what it is. And uh, Stanley was very, very proud of having achieved, for the first time, um, a, an image that Rembrandt has painted so well and other Dutch masters have painted so well, but was never able to be filmed, to be photographed, and he did it.